Greetings, everyone. Brad here with Mile Manor DDC. Hope you're all having a great Friday. Had a lot of positive comments from the last little um, what and why uh, pocket sort of pocket dump video that I did. So I thought, hey, let's do another one. Um, I appreciated the great feedback and, you know, they're short, they're quick, they're easy, but it's a fun way to connect with you all. So, you know, I really appreciate it. If you're coming across this, you know, hey, subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of gear reviews and knife reviews, etc. We just, we have a lot of fun, really positive community here and really appreciate it. And for all of you who are subscribers and great supporters, thank you. Just want to get that in there on this lovely Friday. Well, it's actually not that nice here. It's smoky and kind of <laughs> humid and yeah, but we're hoping for some better weather here over the weekend. So, um, you know, fingers crossed. So let's go ahead and talk about why I'm carrying what I'm carrying today. I've got um, a, a, a buddy coming over this evening, so, you know, uh, and I've got to run some errands today, so I'll be out and about a little bit, but uh, wearing a mask, mind you, um, because, you know, hey, we're still in COVID stuff, um, but, and it's required <laughs> by most of the um, ordinances here in Washington State. But uh, anyways, um, so I just wanted to do, be a little bit fancier today, but kind of a standard EDC for me, actually. Um, this is this is a lot of gear that I tend to carry quite a bit um, and that I like and that kind of make me feel like I'm, you know, I'm spiffing it up just a little, not just powling, or powling around the house gear. So let's get into it, right? So first on the wrist, I have my Certina um, DS uh, Titanium Diver. And, you know, I'm not a diver, right? I don't, <laughs> you know, it does have a cool bezel, works just fine. I don't dive. This thing's rated to 300 meters. It's like a 1,000 feet or something like that. In fact, I think it says that... There you go, right? A thousand feet, yeah, right. Um, <laughs> hey, you know, ten feet is probably you know my limit, but um, and and it wouldn't be diving because I you know fell into a pool or something. But um, but no, seriously, this you know this is a fantastic dive watch, um, or just everyday carry watch. And the, part of the reason for that now it's a little bit pricey. So Certina is a Swiss company, right? It's part of the sorry for the glare there. It's part of the Swatch Group, right? So you're on the Swatch ladder with this. It's kind of in the same realm as like Mido and I think it's a step up from like Tissot um, or Tissot, depending on how you pronounce it. But yeah, this isn't a super cheap watch. It's about 500 bucks um, and you can get them all over the place uh, for the most, but not so much necessarily your local, you know, Macy's or something like that. This is something I bought online. Uh, actually, I bought it through Joma Shop. There you go. Just to be honest, cause I didn't want to pay full price and they're sort of a gray market site and, you know, whatever. I'm not a guy that needs, you know, official all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so there you go. I've got the Certina Diver. Now this is all titanium, as I mentioned. So it's super lightweight, which is awesome. I think it shows that here on the band. It's got this really nice milled clasp. There's the titanium. There you go. Great. It also has this really nice ratcheting um, quick, quick extension bracelet here, which is awesome. Even if you're not diving, this is just an awesome handy thing to do. You know, you put gloves on or just anything where you just want a little more, just want it a little looser on your wrist. So you can throw that on there and it's great. So quartz watch, as I mentioned, keeps great time. I think it's really good looking. It's got this nice starburst to it, applied indices. Yeah, just a lot to like about this watch. One of my favorites in sort of everyday, a little spiffier everyday carry. The knife for today is the Kaiser Sea Lion. So this is a fan, I've done a review on this knife. I like this knife a lot. It carries really well in the pocket. It's got a great clip. Uli Henneke, who is the designer, he's based out of Germany. There you go. There's his little maker mark under the Sea Lion. S35 VN Steel, really great flipper. You know, you can get these if you're really doing some hunting around for like less than a hundred bucks. And I think this just looks like a really, <laughs> a much nicer knife than, you know, like 85 bucks or 90 bucks that you can spend to get one of these. Um, if you look around, I mean, some places still have them at full price, like 175 or something, but that's crazy. Don't pay that. Um, but yeah, with a little blue anodization, a little bit of sculpting here, it's got a bit of a flipper tab, but this just, I, this is a good everyday carry that feels a little bit fancier, but I'm not worried that I'm, you know, I'm not carrying a $500 knife in my, I don't own a $500 knife anyways, but if I did, <laughs> this one is just a little bit more of that. I want to look a little better. I want a little titanium in the pocket and, you know, I'm going to go ahead. That was an interesting thing to say. I wanted a little something nicer in the pocket, but I didn't feel like I needed anything uh, extra fancy. Uh, to go along with that, I've got a standard little Swiss Army Alox knife. There you go. Nothing crazy there, but super thin, super light. Uh, my buddy Sean over at uh, uh, Geared Towards Gear actually gave me this. I like this a lot. It's really cool. And because I'm having a buddy over, we might be doing a little cap lifting later. So there you go. Always always handy to have that, and that's partly why it's there. 
Hank, just because I always carry Hanks. Uh, this one, this particular Hank, uh, while well, the orange is mild mannered, right? Uh, made by Mad Pow. She's really cool, Maddie. Go check her out on Instagram. Does really, really cool work, and it's just a nice, nice person <laughs> and really fun to deal with. So, got my Hank there because, as I mentioned, you just never know what you're going to need to do on a daily basis. If you're a klutz like me, you're probably going to cut yourself a trip or do something <laughs> where you're going to need to, you know, or just clean my glasses off if I'm wearing glasses or whatever. So there you go. And then lastly, keys, right? And what I carry on my keys, I always carry a little flashlight. And I don't think I talked about this in my previous video, um, but I really love these Espiner, there you are, from Night Eyes. This is Night Eyes. I love Night Eyes stuff. So not only does this, you know, small, which is great, but it has this cool little locking mechanism. So you can twist the black little black thing there and it keeps this so they can't come undone. I've never had one of these fail. I've never had one of these, either the lock or the carabiner. Um, they're just awesome, super versatile, easy to just, you know, click on whatever you got going on or on a belt loop or whatever. Just great. Um, and especially for me where I like to carry my flashlight on my keychain because I'm not a huge flashlight guy, but I got a little O-light here. There you go. This was happens to be that special they did with the pandemic or whatever it is, little helping hands heroes thing. So anyways, it was cool. Wanted to support the pandemic, you know, workers and all that or whatever this was. So, <laughs> um, but it was blue and cool. So there you go. And I think it looks good with the orange. Creates a little pop there. So slap them on. So that's what I've got today in the pockets. Uh, this is the mild mannered what and why. I hope you all have a great Friday. Like I said, it felt like a really long week this week. Um, I hope everybody has a, a good restful weekend and that you just uh, stay safe. And like I always say, please be mild mannered to one another and all the best.